Well, hey everybody, it's me, Jermaine, and I'm out and about doing what I do. This is The Simple Truth, and I'm uh, in on another episode. And today what I want to speak about is, I want to speak about, there was a situation that happened in Des Moines, Iowa. I think that's where it was. It was definitely in, in Iowa, where a father called the police <clears throat> on his teenage son, uh, for for a dispute that they had and because of that dispute he called the police and he was calling the police for the sole purpose to just simply teach his son a lesson well unfortunately his son got taught a very valuable lesson a life ending lesson and what I want to share with you as far as the simple truth is concerned is that when are we as a people when are we as a people going to stop falling prey and falling victim to the trap that the enforcement agencies the so-called protection agencies have your and my best interests at heart. Really your, because I know for sure they don't have my best interests at heart. They are serving their leaders' interests, not yours. They're not here to protect you. They're here to protect the people that they represent from you. I'm going to share with you this article. I'm going to read it for you in its entirety. But it just comes down and it just goes to show you, ladies and gentlemen, that when you are a person that believes that someone else can help to resolve any of your family or personal issues, this example... This example right here is proof positive how it can go horribly wrong. And there's a young man that is dead now because of it. I'm going to read this article and share it with you. And we'll be back for a final thought. Dad calls 911 on son who gets killed by police. Iowa father questions use of force after case. This article comes from November the 7th, 2013, and it is from Des Moines, Iowa. The Des Moines Register reports on a fatal police shooting this week, and a quote high up in the story from the victim's father pretty much tells the tragic tale. He took off with my truck, recalls James Comstock. I call the police, and they kill him. It was over a damn pack of cigarettes. I wouldn't buy him none. And I lose my son for that? Comstock explains that his 19-year-old son, Tyler, took off with the truck after their argument and he called police to teach him a lesson. Then things went horribly wrong. A police cruiser tried to pull Tyler over, but he refused to stop. At one point, he even rammed the officer's car. The chase led onto the campus of Iowa State University and dispatch audio reveals that a police staffer twice recommended that officers end the pursuit, reports USA Today. They did not, and KCRG reports that pedestrians had to jump out of the path of the truck, which at one point was going against one-way traffic in the bike lane. Tyler eventually stopped the truck but he kept revving the engine and refused orders to turn it off. At that point, an officer fired six times into the truck, killing him. The shooting remains under investigation. He didn't shut the damn truck off, so let's fire six rounds at him? Asked Tyler's step-grandfather. We're confused, and we don't understand. Police have said they feared for the police's safety if he took off again. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, the father was just simply trying to teach his son a lesson. And 
it just went horribly wrong. I want to thank you for joining me on this episode of The Simple Truth. And as I always tell you, it's the simple things that are oftentimes the most profound, but yet they're the most difficult to put into practice and to actually do. I'll see you, you, and you again real soon on another episode.